Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take you to some of our newly discovered best food places here in Bali, take you to the biggest candy store in Bali, and give you some updates on travel here. One of our favorite beaches here in Bali is called Seise Beach and it's a really nice beach and on your way there you see these gorgeous rice fields on both sides. There is a little place if you walk down on the beach you're gonna reach this cafe and it looks like a little beach hut. It's quite a nice place to get some nasi goreng and some drinks and the prices are really affordable. So we had some drinks there and also some nasi goreng and for the total it was only about 50k. And this is what it looks like here in the background right now. Hi. Hey. That is Angel right there. We're looking forward to getting some, some food here. This is a black sand beach so it's not going to be a white sandy beach like you see in Uluwatu but it's a nice beach to chill uh, and also a good beach to watch the waves. They are really big here. If you are looking for really tasty Indian food here in Bali, one of our newly favorite place that we had Indian food is called Chaiba in Siminyak. I found it's quite hard to find really good quality Indian food that is affordable and tasty here in Bali and even though Chaiba is not the most affordable Indian food in Bali, it is the most tastiest we've had so far. Another one of our newly discovered favorite places in Bali here is called Tokuru Cafe in Siminya. This cafe is really cute. If you're looking for something like Bingsu, they have a Japanese version of it here. It's really cute. There's a really big animal stuffy like figure inside and you have some really good desserts. They also have really fluffy pancakes you can order as well. The prices are affordable too and it's a nice little cafe if you're looking to have a good dessert. Now here is an update about the malls in Bali. If you want to go to any indoor mall, you're going to have to show proof of vaccination. And how this new process works is you have a QR code on an app here that has it linked to your vaccine. The mall we went to was in Kuta and it's called Beachwalk Mall. Highly would recommend this mall if you're looking to shop here in Bali. If you're craving something sweet, there is the largest candy store here in Bali in the Beachwalk Mall. There are hundreds of different kind of candy and chocolate there in this candy store. There are some from England and also all over the globe. And you can also find local chocolates there from Bali as well. Now, don't expect to get really good deals here. It's a very touristy place and the prices are high. Expect to pay Western prices here if you are gonna buy some candy at this store. Um, but you do get a really good selection of anything that you're looking for. They even have massive containers there where you can help yourself to these different kind of candies and they will weigh it for how much you have in the bag. Outside the store, you will find a fish area and there are so many fish here. It's, it's really cute to see and you can actually give them food that you can get from around the corner. If you walk to the top or the rooftop of this mall, you will see a quite a nice view of the beach and the surrounding area. I like this mall so much because there is so much greenery and trees and nature almost inside of the mall and it's a great place to just walk around. So we are in the Beach Walk Shopping Center here in the Kuta and it's actually pretty busy. They just reopened recently and as you can see a lot of the stores are open and there are some people here again. Uh, again, you do need the vaccination, the first shot to get in and you need to prove that with a certificate or the app if you are from Indonesia and also a mask as well. But overall it's pretty good and um, yeah, it's nice to see the malls here open again. There are some new updates about travel to Bali here as well. In October, the government is planning on reopening the tourist visas here and you won't need a business visa to travel to Bali anymore, which is great news for anyone who does want to come back. 
The great thing is you can fly here in Bali directly instead of having to go to Jakarta first to q u a r t e n t i n e There hasn't been any official date on when this is going to happen yet. But if you are planning to come to Bali in the next few months, there is a highly likely chance that you will be able to do so. Now, you still do need to quarantine for 8 to 14 days, dependent on what country you're from. And even if you have double vaccination and a negative PCR test, there is no way around the quarantine. You still do have to quarantine here in Jakarta or Bali when it reopens for quarantine here in Bali. But there are some new updates on how you can quarantine in Bali. This is not in effect yet, but when it does come into action, you will be able to fly directly to Bali, quarantine in a quarantine zone, which basically means you can quarantine in certain zones that they have approved. You can leave your hotel, you can go to the cafe, you can go to stores, and you have to stay in the area for a certain period of time until your PCR test comes negative. Now, basically, these zones will be dependent on different regions of Bali. But when this does happen, you will be able to not just stay in the hotel for the entire time, but still explore in that region until you are fully able to travel outside of that bubble. To finish our day, we ended up in a nice little cafeteria here in Saminyak. It was cool, they had live music and lots of different food vendors from all over Indonesia. It's nice to see the live music. I haven't seen that at too many local food areas in Bali, especially the food courts. And the prices are reasonable. You can get almost any kind of food here for maybe under 20 to 50k, dependent on what you get. And they have different tables where you, with you can sit. There are a lot of cats,、uh, so it's kind of cute if you like the cats. But yeah, really nice cafe here to chill and get some good Indonesian food. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe, like, and comment. And also check out the links in the description. We have some new links there for some things that might help you if you are a digital nomad. Check out the free Bitcoin link there. You will get $10 of free Bitcoin if you sign up. And also check out the other links there as well. Till next time, have a nice day. Peace.